before we start the series i'd like you all to breathe no seriously now the lesson that follows does not promise you will be the animator of your dreams overnight but i promise it will put you on the right path and for that the commitment is required from your side if you wish to learn more and further improvise in your own ways don't forget to have fun and remember in this journey patience is key I'm Ram a communication designer and I specialize in animation film design currently working from Crossmind Studio based out of New Delhi India I started my journey around 16 years ago but it feels like just yesterday when I drew my first animation the more I learn about this subject the more it unfolds and I think that's the best part about it every day you wake up wanting to learn more and more about it and it brings up a new challenge every day looking back at those times when i started this journey i realized how difficult it could be for new artists to break into this and find their right path and i thought there might be few among them watching my channel today who are on the same path as me just beginning their journey and might need a little extra help to take their first step those who are curious about the process that goes into giving life to the ideas and the stories they have in their mind So today I'm going to share another series with you which will help you take your first step towards giving life to your ideas and transforming them into 3D animations. This series is not about perfecting 3D modeling skills or using the best of the technology, but this series is about breaking your idea into different steps of the creative process, detailing it and putting it all back together as animated content. A few months ago we introduced the basics of 3D and how it works with an introduction series about Blender. Now that we have concluded that introduction series along with few other which cover how the simulations and animations work in 3D, I think we are at a pretty good stage to start a parallel discussion about a bigger picture because I'm sure a lot of you are here because you have ideas and stories you want to tell with this medium. Come to think of it, we are not here because we are fascinated by how the surfaces and polygons form in 3D or any of the technologies behind the computer graphics. We are here because we want to express our thoughts and imagination through this medium. Some through illustrations, some with animated short films, some may tell stories about the product they are designing, and some may find other experimental creative ways to tell stories like motion graphics. The process we are going to discuss in this series can be seen in every kind of creative production environment. The scale may vary depending on the scale of the production. but the structure will always remain the same and while learning we will be making a short scene to discuss this process on a very small scale so that it's easier to follow along and this process will help you take your first step towards 3d content creation a step further than 3d modeling texturing and all the technical things you have learned in the introduction series about the blender Just to give you an overview, we are going to cover this series in 12 parts, beginning from the very first sketch to visualize our idea till the very final stage where we render out the entire animated sequence. Now, what medium are we going to use? The process we are going to discuss today requires multiple tools such as sketching, pre-visualization tool, modeling, sculpting, animating, etc. As seen in recent developments, Blender has a versatile tool set. It can help you with a sketch, animatic, easy pre-visualizations, sculpting, modeling, and of course the entire 3D production. Blender is enabling artists with more and more tools to be able to do as much as production required within one package, blurring the lines between the different mediums. but you can follow the series with any other 2D or 3D tools you are familiar with as long as your fundamentals are clear what you need before beginning the series number 1 you need to have working knowledge of blender 
or any other 3D package you prefer. If not, you can watch our beginner's introduction series for Blender, which is free for all users available on this channel. Even if you plan to make animation in any other medium, you can still benefit from this if you are new to animations. Number 2. Open Mind Some may decide their specialization at very early stage, which is good. That means your vision is clear. But having an open mind and learning things from different perspectives can drastically change the way you think. Number 3. Focus on reasons, not the numbers. Often seen, some might follow the tutorial step by step, exact same numbers as seen in the tutorial, yet end up with the results that are different. This is why you should focus on the reason behind the each step taken instead of what number I used or taught in any other tutorial. It's like in cooking. Instead of learning how many spoons of ingredient you need to use, find out the reason and develop a taste and you wouldn't need the number to make something delicious. Number 4. Patience You need to stay patient because this takes time. Why and who need this series? The animation is not just for big animation studios or game studios producing billion dollar worth of stuff. Animation has actually become a very common and affordable medium and it's much more popular and resources are easily available compared to how it was 20 years ago. Some might use this medium to create a game trailer for their indie games. Independent filmmakers would want to use this medium for short films. Some use it to produce the ad films in animation, product and architecture or automobile designers use it to present their concepts or to create virtual reality experiences. But that is not all. There is no limit to how much and where you want to use this medium. Find your style, embed it as much as you can in your daily needs. It's a very powerful thing for people with ideas. And the process we are going to discuss today, however simple but will be useful. As often seen, it's not a good practice to directly implement ideas into 3D. A bit of pre-production work can help you proofread your idea to avoid uncertainties. Also, when working in a team, you would want to share and communicate at multiple stages because time is an investment and a lot can go wrong if you don't do things in the right order. Now, often we have fears about things that we don't understand completely. So let's begin with the first chapter and deconstruct the bigger picture so we can understand how this all works and ease your mind into this journey. I wish you all good luck. Let's begin with first chapter.